I'll pull him off you. <laughs> Ready? I guess this stuff really works. <laughs> Trouble sit out. Here we go. Everybody. And. Shane. Three. Came out for practice, so as far as I'm concerned, you lived up to your part of the deal. So you mean I don't have to keep coming? Not if you don't want to. Belly flops. And. Well, if it's okay by you, I'd like to keep coming. So I at least learn enough tricks to kick Tim Braden's butt. <laughs> they're not tricks, they're called moves. And the trick is to learn enough of them to beat wrestlers in your own weight class. You also have to maintain a C average to stay on the team. Forget it. I can't make C's. I never made one in my life. Can't. It's not a word we use around here, Shane. Okay. Here I Excuse me. Coach Milliken? Yeah. Hi. I'm uh, Ed Wilson, U.S. Marshal. Looking for Mike Norlon? Oh, that's right. Didn't even know he escaped. He did escape, right? Oh. Thought he was up for parole. Denied. Well, there you have it. I guess he felt he served enough time for what he did. <laughs> Michael always had a sense of justice, if you know what I mean. Oh, I'm afraid I don't. Uh, back in 1970, the university cut all wrestling scholarships. Norlon and some of the other kids came from poor coal mining families. Norlon helped them out. He loaned them the money to stay in school. We didn't know he was forging checks. <laughs> Talk with him lately? As I'm sure you know, he sends me letters from time to time. Never when he's on the run, he's too smart for that. Well, I don't suppose you'd tell me if he did. I don't suppose I would. <laughs> Thanks, Coach. Time's up. Ah, uh, groan, groan, groan. Think of me, I gotta read them tonight. Leave them on your desk, see you tomorrow. That's it, that's it. Take a pencil. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Really looking forward to this, I'll tell you that. <clears throat> Shane? Can I talk to you a minute? Tell me why you didn't take the test. I don't get it. You've been really trying in here. You've learned more about wrestling in two weeks than most guys learn in a year, and then you pull this. So I don't do so good on tests. Yes, this wasn't a test. It was a giveaway. Stuff we've talked about in class all week. Yeah. Well. I didn't understand the questions. You understood the questions in class. That's different. I'm not buying it. Is that the way it's going to be with you? When it comes to a test, you choke? That ain't it. What about wrestling? You're great in practice when it comes to a real match? No! How do I know that? Because I don't have to read to wrestle. What do you mean by that? Are you dense or what? I can't read. without being able to read. I guess none of the teachers wanted me around two years in a row.
Do I know reading problems? Let me tell you. Every parent whose kid isn't making straight A's is convinced their kid's got reading problems. Every parent who is capable of pronouncing the word is convinced their kid's dyslexic. <laughs> you see, as far as they're concerned, they have never heard of a bad kid, or a lazy kid, or a stupid kid. You know what? They all have reading problems. Now, you tell me. Do I know about reading problems? That's what I'm trying to find out. Because I have a student who can't read. Functionally illiterate? Cannot tell the difference between cat and dog if it's written on the blackboard. Who? Shane O'Connor. Did I say something funny? No, I just have a little trouble getting worked up over how our educational system has failed such a fine young person as Mr. O'Connor. Okay, okay, he's not a model student, but model he's a... Model student? Have you ever taken a peek at his permanent record? Wherever he's gone to school, he has done nothing but start fights, disrupt class, make life miserable for every teacher who has the misfortune of finding his name on their roll sheet. Well, maybe some of his problems stem from a reading disability. You don't think he's putting one over on you? He's trying, Gail. He is really trying. You think so? Yes. Well, if he's willing to try, so am I. Let me come up with some ideas. You're not going to bury this under a mountain of paperwork, are you? <laughs> Just relax, Harry. I, I need to think it through. When I come up with something, you'll be the first to know. Good.